So in this video, I'm going to show you how to move a text up or down using HTML and CSS. So you see, we have an element here. So we have a lot of elements actually, um, but we have an element that we are interested in. It says LA. So you see inside of the header on line 12, I have this header element. And inside of that header element, I have this age one element. So let's say that we want to move that element a little bit up. So to do that, you know, it's because it's inside of this header element, I can basically type in header and then age one is going to select that one, that specific element. So let's do that. So in line 46, uh, I'm going to type in header, then age one, then open to calibration. So I'm going to type in transform, colon, uh, then I'm going to say translate y. Uh, if you want to move it down, you can add a positive number. And if you want to move it up, you can add a negative number. So, for example, if I want to move it up, I can say negative 20 pixels. But before, before I do that, I want to add up the positive number just to show you what's going to happen. So, negative 20 pixels. So, if I save this. So, this is the index. Okay, are we on index here? So this is the index. You see, it has gone down. So now, if I want to move it up, I can use a negative number. So whenever you want to move something the opposite way, you always use to, you know use the negative number. So now it's negative twenty pixels, and it went up. Um, you can use this on any other element. Um, however, you know sometimes with the text, it does not work. So if if your selector is incorrect. So for example, you see, let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, so you see I have this section here and then I have this paragraph. So let's say that we want to move that one. Or actually, let me, let me change it. So you see there is this age two element. I can add a paragraph just to, sh to see how it, you're gonna work with paragraphs. So you see, this is a paragraph. So this is a paragraph. Okay, so in, inside of the footer, I have added a paragraph. So it says, this is a paragraph, basically. So now, if I just go here, so if I type in footer, so make sure that I'm, I wanna make sure that I'm not inside of the media query, but that will not be applied. So I'm gonna type in footer and then paragraph, and I'm going to use the same thing. So transform, translate y, negative 30 pixels. You see, it will work as long as your selector is correct. So you see, it says footer and then a paragraph. So let me see if I can add an ID to this paragraph. So I don't want to, let's say that we want to give it an ID, a unique ID to this paragraph, and we want to. Uh, do it so you see inside of the paragraph i'm going to add an id here so i'm going to call it my paragraph all right my paragraph uh one all right so just, i just wanted to give it a unique name that i have not used anywhere else in this on this uh page so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to that selector so instead of saying and footer, footer P, you know, I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna use hashtag and add that paragraph. So you see, this way, you know, in case if, uh, you know, you apply transform, translate, and if it doesn't work, it means that your selector is incorrect. So it's a good way, if, if it doesn't work like the way I did it, you can always give it an ID. So ID equals to, to quotations and then you add a unique name to that paragraph and then you select it by saying hashtag and then you add that name and then you open two bullet braces and add transform translate and you can use a positive number or a negative number all right everyone so i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel i hope you learned something new